This land is your land. This land is my land. From California, well, to the New York Island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream. We want to thank everybody for coming out today. I know it started snowing and y'all was like, damn, I don't think I'm going. You know, and you ate, that's really when we get itis. We only coming. But y'all came out, we thank y'all. God bless you. Get ready for a fantastic show though. I'm for real. My sister, Black Pearl, thank you so much. Let's give her another round of applause for that poetry piece. Some of y'all had to pull your dictionary out to learn some of the words. All right, anybody, uh, another thing we have, my wife is out there, she sells weed, she has phenomenal Indian weed. This hair lasts you four years on the real. It's, we have all textures. Yes, I was looking at a couple of y'all, y'all need to go back there and see if you can work out a bundle deal. That's all I'm gonna say about that. You know who you are, hair ain't got no edge, it's all this ball. <laughs> I thought she had one of the wigs on like George Washington in the back in the day. <laughs> and if you're doing this right here, go wash your hair right now. Go wash your hair. <laughs> All right, we're going to get the band up here. Band, can I get the band to the band stand? For real, that brother peed and did a whole bathroom. was like, wow. This dude here must got a pamp around his neck. <laughs> Straight up. Don't forget they're selling food over there. Get you something to eat. You know you got a diabetic, so you need to get some uh, food in you for your sugar get too low or too high. I'll help you only if you ain't foaming at the mouth. You foaming at the mouth? Woo! I gotta hope somebody in here that's in the medical field. Cause you dead on my watch. Let's give the BLT family band a round of applause. All these brothers play at churches and bar mitzvahs and Hispanic. What do you call when little girls get, get, I don't need no music right now. When little girls, yeah, Hispanic little girls have their first Holy Communion, what is that called? Kinsinella? Okay, I love that. They look so beautiful. But why do all of them wear patent leather shoes? Oh, Y'all don't want to laugh. The devil is because that's funny as hell. They always got patent leather shoes. She see me two weeks later with her girlfriend. Girl, I put it on. I, I tore his butt up. He can't even use that right side no more. There's some good stuff down here, baby. <laughs> It's called stroke coochie right here. No, I'm good, y'all keep that. I want somebody close to my age. When we get tied together, you tied too. Did you come? I didn't either. We're only about it We were. <laughs> Straight up. I don't know. I want somebody to go to sleep with me in the wet spot. I don't get the back. No, uh-uh. But then now you got the older women now messing with the younger men. <laughs> Giving young men old people diseases. You know I ain't lying. It was a sister in her late 60s. She about 69, messed with this dude about 34. And they been dealing about two weeks, you know? And they finally started being intimate. Now he got gout and emphysema. <laughs> You be with her, yeah, you gonna be dead, play. I'll tell you now. She getting younger and you getting older. <laughs> you know I ain't lying. Uh -uh. I don't want no women like in their late 60s and 70s. I don't care how bad life gets, Lord. Please don't make me have to go there. Especially if she ain't putting no investing no money in her body. Ooh, I'm good. Oh, now y'all look and roll your eyes. I don't give a damn, I tell the truth. Seven-year-old breast is not up here no more. They down here. The hair is not black no more. You going into a winter storm like that. <laughs> and I'm sorry, it's something about gray hair down there that ain't sexy. I 
think about grandma, you know what I'm saying? And then when you have sex, well, okay, I did it one time, so what? <laughs> but then when you having sex with them, they don't even talk like normal, you know, like a woman be like, come on, baby, it's yours. And she be talking about grandmama, hit that ass. This grandma like, oh, loud. No, we ain't talking like that right now. Don't know your name. She got your name. Come on, Dura. Get this, Dura. <laughs> Who the hell is Dura? <laughs> damn. You can't even remember my damn name. You know what I'm saying? Be quiet. My granddaddy had to go. Be quiet. <laughs> okay, you're going to have to get up. I got gas. I got gas. <laughs> oh, this the one. Oh, wait. Oh, damn. I got my leg. Got a child at home. I sent it all up. Hold up, get off of me. <laughs> Grandkids and over the door, what you doing to my grandmama? Nothing. We both naked, nothing. She ain't got her teeth in or nothing, nothing. Her teeth stuck on my nipple, you know, nothing. <laughs> Do a senior citizen porn yesterday. <laughs> For real, time is rough now, baby. It's a different day. I do not want to have to have sex, because I got to. That's when you, like, when I was on crack, I used to have sex because I had to. I needed $10, I need some place to live. She rolled over, you know what time it is. Oh, damn! I can't breathe, don't worry about it, you'll be all right. <laughs> Let's get this show started. Y'all enjoying yourself? Now, if I said something that offended you, <laughs> too damn bad. This is a miracle. We got the fifth amendment. I'm all right. Yeah. Please don't forget to support our vendors. They have some great stuff over there at great prices. And it's black home. Please. We have a raffle, too. Miss Pearl, that her husband put our clothes out for. This core whooping made you a very good person uh -huh. because you realized that there was a consequence behind what you did. Yes, it's true. You know, for real, extension core whooping. I'm, I'm just, I don't care. You could have been a leader of a gang. <laughs> if you got extension core whooping, you was gonna cry. Uh -huh. There is nobody I know other than somebody with a mental problem that couldn't cry. <laughs> Some of the singers that you all hear today, the Minnie Rippletons and the Patti LaBelle's and Yolanda Adams, some of them didn't know they could hit them notes they hit. That come from an extension cord whooping that gave you a range that you didn't know nothing about. <laughs> For real, you know I ain't telling no story. And see, when I was thin and my mama, she wasn't right because she didn't make the extension cord real short. She would make it long. And see, the worst whooping you could get, one of the worst, she had different stages of whooping. But the one that was one that hurt your heart was the one when you did something and the school called and you wasn't prepared for it. Now, I would get in trouble at school and I went to Catholic school and I would be what you call a bad kid in school. But what would bring me back to reality was some words that my teacher would say that shocked me like smelling salt is for a brother that is knocked out. I'm about to go call your mama. <laughs> Hold it, Miss Johnson. I don't know what came over me. I don't know. I watched the exorcist. I think the devil came inside of me. But that really wasn't me. You don't have to call her. But no, you can't do that because your peers are watching. I'm like, I don't care who you call. I ain't even worried about it. But when we got in the hallway, that reality set in, and I tried to talk to her, but it was too late. Because see, when I grew up and how we grew up, you don't talk back to adults. I don't care what's happening. Mm -hmm. So when we get to the office and she calls my mother, hey, beautiful, <laughs> all right, little ray of sunshine. <laughs> you got so many bees in your head, you can't hardly lift it, baby. I'm so sorry. <laughs> your mama just lost her mind. I'm going to put 990 feet on this baby's head. The baby falling asleep and she wake up. Mama, stop, please. She can't talk yet, but she's going to make her say something. <laughs> but baby say she want everybody to see my house. This take over eight hours. Eight hours. This land is your land.